Good morning, friends. Today I am going to show you a very interesting case. As I always say that angina has gone out of the textbook. Angina means the symptoms of angina. Recently we had a patient who was referred for echocardiography. The patient is a 50 year old gentleman. He has no diabetes and he is a non-smoker, non-alcoholic. There is no family history of coronary artery disease. And the uh, uh, patient uh, was having symptoms for which he consulted the uh, doctor and for that, at that time, uh, in the doctor's clinic, the BP was found to be like uh, 150, 100 or so. So he was found to be hypertensive. But he denies any history of high blood pressure. Now, what were the symptoms? The important thing is symptoms. Patient had uh, mm -hmm. a severe acidity and gastric issue immediately within 5 minutes of eating food and this started for the past one week. According to patient, whenever he eats something, especially solid food, uh, after like within 5 minutes he gets this severe acidity and, uh, and, and sometimes some discomfort which goes to the shoulders also. Uh, but uh, on provoking, uh, he says that uh, he has uh, chest discomfort, but by and large it is acidity and he feels there is so much of gas formation and, uh, uh, and, and it is associated with sweating as well. So mind words sweating and uh, it takes him like 5 minutes or maybe uh, 1 minute or 2 minutes and after that he feels relieved. And these symptoms do not occur when he is drinking liquids. So these symptoms are only because of eating solid foods. So he kind of stopped eating solid foods and um, uh, for the past one week for the, and he consulted a doctor. So doctor uh, got, uh, asked for the stress echo. So for that the patient had come to our clinic and asked for an ECG also and to review with the reports. So this is, uh, can you Negiji please focus on the ECG now. This is his first ECG. Now look carefully in this ECG. I will show you these leads. This is lead 1, 2 and 3. Now you can see that in 3 there is ST which is like flat and there is a T wave inversion. A, a, a T wave inversion can be normal in 3 but this ST is not looking uh, uh, normal. Okay. And then uh, go to, uh, since it is inferior lead, we will focus more on inferior lead. So, AVR, AVL, AVF also is showing a very, like little bit of convex ST with a T wave inversion. So, two leads are showing T wave inversion. In the inferior leads, patient has severe acidity symptoms and he doesn't have, mind you, any symptoms while walking. And he can walk fl flight of stairs also. He is not having any problem while walking only after eating solid foods. So uh, inferior wall uh, involvement is very common in uh, and uh, especially when the patients are having symptoms which suggest acidity or acid reflux. Now come to V1, V2. You can suddenly, suddenly you see there is a tall T wave in V1 as uh, V2 as compared to V1. And in V3, and there is very little ST depression in V2 and V3. Now go to V4, some ST depression indeed, and T wave flattening, and V5 and V6. So these are little bit of STT changes, very subtle changes uh, of the inferior posterior wall. All right. So now uh, the um, uh, pay, uh, we, we repeated uh, the ECG actually. Uh, we said no, we will not uh, put you under stress. We will just repeat your ECG and do an echo. So this uh, was on 10th July, the first ECG and the next ECG on 19th. So he has come after 9 days actually. History was of 1 week. And now you focus on inferior leads. Now you can see the T wave inversion with slight testy curve is in lead 2 lead 3 as well as in AVF and the inversion has deepened all right and uh, uh, even the voltage uh, in lead 3 has gone down with the appearance of Q wave can you show on the first ECG again now here you see the there was an R wave in lead 3 okay now there is loss of R wave in lead 3 and there is appearance of Q wave 
and there is also uh, uh, the avf is also voltage has gone down significantly of the qrs in fact it is almost not seen only st and t waves are seen that is inverted and in two earlier you can again go to the first ecg uh, the t wave was upright uh, i mean t wave was flat actually and here in lead two there is a clear t wave inversion then we go to chest leads uh, move uh, the camera here this side you can see that there the t waves have inverted in v5 and v6 and and a slight terminal negativity in v4 and can you please compare it with the previous ecg look at here so v4 t wave was upright and here uh, just you saw that it has inverted here upright upright and now inverted so clear case of uh, this is inferior myocardial injury and extending up to the chest leads also so now here is the echocardiography you have to uh, show from the very close up of the e. okay so can you please focus the whole thing it's not very clearly visible this is how you have to focus all right now you can see that this is the posterolateral wall and you compare it with the septal region and the apical you can see it is contracting very well whereas here it is a little bit of hypokinesia all right now i'll move to the next image and you see this is inferior wall basal which is uh, slightly moving less as compared to the apical area and and this is the uh, uh, the uh, the anterior wall so you can see the apical area the this is moving better here also the contractility is nice but here the basal inferior wall is clearly hypokinetic okay so let's uh, let's see some more images of echocardiography and what we see see again the basal inferior is hypokinetic and you can compare it with all the other walls okay this is the apical area and this is the anterior and you clearly see that there is a difference between this and this part and this is hypokinetic all right and uh, and these patients uh, generally have a mitral uh, regurgitation also so i'll just show you if i have recorded any uh, mr image i i did actually so where is that okay see now i think okay. all right so not visible but the patient had slight mitral regurgitation as well so this is a clear cut case of uh, 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 an acute inferior mi and uh, then we did not do stress of course and patient was uh, referred back for uh, you know cardiac uh, cardiology opinion so now what i want to stress upon is whenever patient has severe acidity sudden onset and uh, we must think of uh, you know coronary artery disease so thank you very much and uh, jai hind and jai bharat